It's already more than 6.30. I was thinking that I'm going to wake up at 5 in the morning. I'm going to pack my bags and uh, we'll leave by uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm already too late. Mm. The tea is really nice. Finally, I'm on the roads again with another adventure. We're leaving Manipur today. What's up India? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Raj Singh and I am here at the Asian Highway 1. It started from uh, Imphal today morning heading towards Myanmar. So this episode is going to be real special. We're going to share a lot of information about land border crossings and how is it living in Myanmar. So far what you have seen in the videos of YouTube, you might have come across, you know, how is it like to be uh, in Tamu and crossing land borders over a day but in this episode we're going to talk about how it's like to cross the land borders with the visa and uh, how you live in Myanmar how you spend your days in Myanmar and uh, you know fooding lodging and hiking and a lot of sightseeing so this is going to be really special if you haven't subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing and make sure that you hit that thumbs up if you have any comments do leave it below hey. जुलाई से बॉर्डर ओपन हुआ है ना फ्रेंडशिप फ्रेंडशिप बॉर्डर नहीं नहीं जुलाई से ये तो ऑलरेडी ओपन ही रहता है ओके नहीं ये पीछे जो हुआ था कि लैंड बॉर्डर क्रॉसिंग जो थी वैसे तो ओपन है बट ये ये जो लैंड बॉर्डर क्रॉसिंग्स हैं पासपोर्ट के साथ और वीजा के साथ ये तो अभी से हुआ है ना अभी से हुआ है कलकत्ता होने के जाना पड़ता था ओके अभी महीना दिन पहले यहाँ से रोहिंग्या भी भेजे गए हैं वापिस सामने हमारा म्यांमार फ्रेंडशिप गेट इंडिया इंडो म्यांमार और इंडो बर्मा जो भी आप कहना चाहें फ्रेंडशिप गेट है अभी हम इसको क्रॉस करेंगे फिर आपसे बात करते हैं सो फोक्स वी आर एंटरिंग म्यांमार राइट नाउ तो म्यांमार हियर वी आर विद अ न्यू अवतार एट्स ऑलरेडी अराइव सो वी अराइव्ड इन म्यांमार आई अराइव फ्रॉम एंटर फ्रॉम गेट नंबर वन अब आई वॉज टोल्ड दैट यू आर नॉट सपोज टू एंटर फ्रॉम गेट नंबर वन आई ऑलरेडी गॉट वीजा एन ऑल I'll talk about it later. So I just came out of Customs and Immigration, India, to exit from India and get it stamped on my passport. And in case you're coming to Myanmar for a longer duration, not one day, like you know, sightseeing, you need to come to gate number one out there and get your immigration done, get your passport stamped, and then you can go to immigration office in Myanmar, which is close by. So finally, I'm leaving India. This is the border port, Land Ports Authority, India. And that's the Indian flag, and now. I'll go to immigration office of uh, Myanmar and from there I'll head towards Tamu which is 4 kilometers from here. Oh by the way, I forgot to mention at the Indian immigration you need to fill up two different forms. One that you are exiting, second is the customs and it's a very easy to easy process, it doesn't take much time. You can just fill out the form as the officer there to you know expedite your process. And that's it. Yeah, so there were a couple of people already out there. I asked the officer, immigration officer or the custom officer to expedite my, you know, uh, entry. Bye bye. Bye. Expedite my entry. And yes, the customs did not take much, maybe like a minute or so. And here I am heading towards Myanmar immigration. Yeah. So, I'm at the immigration Myanmar. Wow, Andrea. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, you fill in the paper. Okay. So, brother, इसी के साथ अपनी जो है एंट्री हो चुकी है 
लीगली इंडिया का एग्जिट स्टैंप हो गया म्यांमार का एंट्री स्टैंप हो गया एंड नाउ वी आर ऑफिशियली इन टू म्यांमार आउट हेयर तमू इज वन पॉइंट सेवन जीरो माइल बोकान खामपत कीगोन काले म्यो कालेबा थैंक यू सर I just hitchhiked in uh, Myanmar. I got this lovely scooter ride. I'm sitting at the back and being offered this. I'm not sure what this is. Not even sweet. It has got some vegetables. And yeah. Just nice. So I'm at the internet shop buying the SIM card, and this is uh, Oredo. Oredo 4G, and. Uh, 2000 Myanmar you get 4G data 1GB and uh, 1000 1000 10000 calling minutes no calling eh no calling no calling yeah and only internet data data and one month validity yeah okay this is good although you have mpt also but i'm not sure it cost me somewhere around 90 rupees indian which is okay so i'm still stuck at tamu I needed to exchange uh, the money before I move further because I was not sure if I would be able to get the better prices in any other part of Myanmar. So uh, the bus I missed out at uh, four o'clock to go to Mandalay. I want to go to Chin State, but I think you know maybe Mandalay is the best bet for now. When I come back from Mandalay, I can look for buses from Mandalay and then. Uh, further so mandalay bus leaves around 4 o'clock from tamu and they charge around 23000 burmese which would be somewhere around 1100 1200 rupees indian so yeah now i'm on the road i'm going to look for some food to have see if i can hitch hike or find a place to crash in for tonight So this is what I'm going to have for tonight Indian dish and uh, I'm here in Tamu I couldn't find the bus because the bus is leaves around 4 o'clock or 3:30 at the max it's 6 p.m. Uh, in Myanmar and 5 p.m. in India I asked them at this restaurant they said that there's a place uh, Dharamshala the Nepali Dharamshala I can crash in and they will charge me up somewhere around uh, 150 rupees Indian so First, I'm gonna see if I can hitchhike, and uh, if not, I'm gonna come back and crash in at the place. And it's not a dorm; you get a proper room. I'll tell you more about it when I reach there, in case. So I finally could not hitchhike. I spoke to some of the locals, and they said uh, normally people do not travel from here over the night to Mandalay. And uh, now I'm at this Nepali Dharamshala. If you go by the name as Dharamshala, it is actually a Dharamshala. Let me show you my room. This is actually the room. and the wash basin out here and you have the toilet out here earlier i was told that i'll be charged like 150 rupees indian but uh, the moment they got to know that i'm traveling for a long time and uh, you know i'm here on a visa and making videos about my travel so the charges changed and now i'm supposed to pay 350 rupees for the night indian 350 rupees which is 7000 burmese so I don't have a choice. I have to stay here. And tomorrow morning I'll try and hitchhike. If not, then I'll uh, uh probably you know take a bus which will take me another 23000 rup 23000 Burmese rupees which would be uh around 11 or 1200 rupees Indian. Now, for the room they have this electronic system. If I take this off the lights i'm going to go off in few minutes not immediately and i have to put this on to keep our light flowing so and this is for now all the information that i've got i got it from uh, the dhaba that i was you know having my dinner it is known as the hindu hotel so you can look for it at tamu the hindu hotel and uh, you can find probably you know nearby from there you can find the nepali dharamshala if you want to spend your night in tamu like the way i am doing 
So, yeah, <laughs> be sure that you will be paying like 350 rupees for the night. I tried my level best to get some discounts, but unfortunately, no. So, this is for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do not forget to subscribe. Ask your friends as well. Share the video with people so that they can be informed about how to travel in Myanmar. I'll be traveling all across Myanmar and posting videos from different parts of the region and tell you the cheapest ways to stay, accommodation, travel, hitchhiking, camping, a lot of stuff. So keep watching. Raj Singh, good night.